Where to buy your domain in 2023. So in this video, I'm going to show you the best domain registrars to make sure you're not spending any more money than you have to when purchasing your domain name. Down below in the description, you'll find more information about all the domain registrars mentioned in today's video. Before I jump right into my favorites, let's go over a couple common mistakes and I'll give you examples so you can see how much more you could potentially be paying for your domain. Mistake number one, not shopping around and getting your domain from wherever you build your website or pay for hosting. So a lot of times you can get the first year for free from the website website builders or hosting companies, but they're essentially betting on you being lazy. They know that once you get the domain with them, you get the first year for free. You're not going to think about changing it. And then they can overcharge you for year two and beyond. And a quick note here, if you didn't know this already, you're not actually purchasing your domain to have it forever. You're renting it on an annual basis, or you can pay for it sometimes a couple years at a time. Now let's go through a few examples, starting first with website builders. So our website is built with Squarespace. We're a big fan of their website builder, but not so much of purchasing domains from there. If you pay for an annual plan for their website builder, you can get your domain for free for the first year. The renewals though are going to cost you $20 per year for a .com domain. You can also purchase your domains directly from them if you don't end up getting the domain for free. But as you're going to see, there are a lot of other options that cost less money. Two other examples of website builders would be Wix and Weebly, where you can get the first year for free. Wix, if you pay for one additional year, it would be $17.35. So that would be year two. If you purchase three years at a time, you would spend $15.35 per year. So that would be year two, three, and four all purchased together. And then Weebly cost $19.95 per year. A quick note here, you can transfer your domain. So if you got the first year for free with Squarespace, near the end of the first year, you could transfer it and pay for someplace else and have the price going forward at a lower rate. We have a whole video walking you through step-by-step -step how to do that. I'll link that video up above right here. Now let's talk about a few hosting options. They also offer the first year for free, but the renewal prices are quite high. Option one, Bluehost. So the renewals for a .com, 1999, the exact same thing for HostGator, and then Ionos would be $17 per year for a .com domain for a year two to and beyond. So for all the previous examples, except for Squarespace, you may be charged an additional fee on top of the cost of your domain. Something we'll talk about in mistake number three, but first mistake number two, not checking the renewal price. So similar to the hosting companies and website builders, the domain registrars, a lot of times will give you a cheap first year price, and then the renewal price will be much, much higher. And some of the domain registrars make it really, really hard to even find the price for the renewal. So here's a couple examples. Ionos is $1 for year one for a .com domain. The renewal price is $17. Domain.com was the example. I had a hard time finding the renewal price, so I looked for it on Google. The price for year one is $9.99. The renewal price is $19.99. Namecheap is a domain registrar that we like. They have good customer service. The prices are decent, but there is a pretty big difference between the first year and the renewal price. So the normal year one price is $9.76. Right now, as I'm creating this video, there was a deal for $6.98 for year one, but the domains are going to renew at $14.58. Then there's one of my least favorite options, GoDaddy. So if you pay for two years, you can get the first year for a penny, but year two and beyond is $19.99. So you end up paying 10 bucks for a year for the first two years and then $19.99 for any year after year two. Mistake number three, paying for privacy protection. So maybe this is something you need or don't need, but either way, you shouldn't be paying for it. It. So the domain registrars we're going to talk about in a second, I'll include this as part of their price. Other domain registrars will charge you something extra from $8.95 to $14.95 to not disclose your name, email, address, and email address. So if you are a dentist, maybe it doesn't matter your name, your address, email, all that is public information. So put that in another database, who cares? But if you work at home and you don't want to share that information with the entire world, then you want to have privacy protection, but you shouldn't have to pay for it. So here are domain registrars that don't charge something extra for that protection. The first option that includes privacy protection, we already talked about in this video, which is Squarespace. So you could get Squarespace for free for the first year if you're on an annual plan of their website builder. Otherwise, a .com is $20 per year. Another great option with a low price that's easy to use and includes privacy protection is Google Domains. So with Google Domains, you would spend $12 per year for a .com domain in year one, 
and for the renewals. The next two options, I haven't personally purchased a domain, but they do have solid pricing. It's just that their websites look like they were built a decade ago, so I'd rather go with a different option, but they are solid options in terms of price. So Name Silo is the first one. It's $10.99 for the first year for a .com, as well as for the renewal. And then Dynadot for a .com would be $8.99 and renews for $10.99. Now we have Porkbun, where we've been purchasing all of our domains lately. So for a .com domain, you would spend $9.73 for year one, as well as the renewal. Actually, if you use our link down below, we're able to get you a dollar discount for the first year. So it'd be $8.73. 73 cents and the renewal would be nine dollars and 73 cents we've liked pork bun because of the low prices as well as the great customer service so as a test i called them up and was on the phone with a live person in less than a minute something not available with a lot of other domain registrars also with the fact that you're saving quite a bit of money compared to a bunch of the previous options we talked about maybe you can spend some of that money on some of their merchandise the lowest cost place you can purchase a domain is with cloudflare so a dot-com domain would be nine dollars and fifteen cents for year one as well as for the renewal so cloudflare launched this business a couple years ago to help people not get ripped off when purchasing a domain but the focus for cloudflare is big huge companies security for them and things like that this is more i would say a charity they're not making any money they have no markup when selling domains which means you get the lowest price but they're not putting resources towards this in terms of customer service. So if you understand DNS, name servers, and are completely comfortable managing domains, going with Cloudflare, you can save a couple cents per year, but I would probably recommend to the people watching this video that may need help talking to customer service or having questions along the way to spend the extra 58 cents per year and go with pork bun as opposed to Cloudflare. After you've purchased your domain, the next two things you're gonna to wanna to do is get your website set up and your business email. If you wanna see the best website builders in 2023, check out the video above. And if you wanna learn how to connect your domain that you just purchased to Google Workspace, what we recommend for business email, check out the video below. Hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.